guys, welcome to the very first episode of Outdoor Adventures. I'm your host, Logan Miracle, and today we're going to be doing an unboxing from Bass Pro Shops. Let's begin. I got two rod socks for items that I have also got. I got six packs of the Rage Tail Mini Scrub Strike King. One in green pumpkin, that's a killing green pumpkin. One in glacier for spawning fish. One in blue sapphire for when the water gets really, really muddy. A bluegill color because there's a lot, a lot of bluegill in, uh, in Lake Carmel and in some of the lakes that I fish locally around here. And black and blue flake for those smallmouth. Now, those are going to come in handy on throwing on the back of. Uh, jigs for smallmouth, or back up in the creeks for largemouth, or flipping Texas rigs whenever the water gets real muddy, and on a shaky head during the spawn. Next, I got a 25-pound Denny Briar flipping uh, fluorocarbon, and I got it in 25-pound for because on Lake Humberland, or the lake I fish the most, there's a lot of uh, submerged trees and uh, fallen tr timber and still standing trees. And those fish like to stay right at the base of those trees in about four or five feet of water. But you have to have that heavy line, 50, 65 pound braid or 20, 25 pound fluorocarbon. I had uh, the Seaguar flipping braid and the flipping fluorocarbon that came out uh, about a year ago at uh, 2015 ICAST. And I really wanted to try it out, but it, it was really expensive. So, I finally saved up enough money to do this in, in this order, and so I got the CR flipping floor carbon, and I'm going to put it on my, my heavy, heavy rod, and I'm going to uh, catch some of the fish on my camera. Next, I got, so, I got, I got a lot of these, I love these baits, uh, five of the, uh, Rapala DT6, it's a secret color now, I can't tell you that, but, uh, they work really well on Lake Cumberland, Kentucky Lake. Uh, whenever those fish are just moving up to on those points, on those first and second points. And uh, we fished the SAF State, Kentucky SAF State, and we got 12 pounds, 2 ounces, with 4 fish with, on these baits. And then on Kentucky Lake, we got uh, 17 out of 118 on those baits with 3 fish for 10 pounds, uh, 12 ounces. So let's go on, let's finish, okay? Uh, I can get out of there. I got two Gamagatsu Finesse um, uh, G Finesse hooks. They are the tournament grade wire with nano um, smooth coat. Uh, I, got, I got six, of, there, are six uh, there are six pack. I got two of them on the two off. Because the lake that I fish the most is Lake Cumberland. There are big, big fish in Lake Cumberland. And you never know when you're going to luck up into those fish that you, that those four or five, eight pound small mouth or, you know, eight pound large mouth. Uh, they're really, really good. People are like, you need to get the small size. I like the only two lot. That's what I'm comfortable with. That's what I've always done. I got a, a pack of the XPS drop shot weights in the four ounce and it's an eight pack. I'll throw this. 8 pound leader, 8 pound fluorocarbon, uh, 8 pound cigar, and Vizex fluorocarbon leader. Well, I'm a 4 foot uh, with about a 10, 12 inch leader. I'm on 15 pound uh, Daiwa Z braid, which I, is, you can get it in Char Fruits, which whenever, whenever it's falling, it's really easy to see for when those fish eat it before it hits the bottom. So, because it, it, you can see that line pop whenever it hits, before it hits the bottom. <clears throat> and uh, so you get, I think, to me, I get a lot more hookups on that that really light colored braid because you can see it really well moving through the water. Next, I got two packs of the half ounce uh, uh, Strike King Tour Grade uh, Tungsten and green, both in green pumpkin color. I got this for whenever you're throwing like bigger, like smaller baits for in deeper water. And you need a heavier bait to get down to where those fish are. And also, 
for, you know, just flipping all around. I like a three-eighth and a half ounce weight when I'm just flipping, you know, a uh, standard, you know, seven inch to ten inch Texas, um, Texas rib worm or a Texas rib uh, rage crawl or menace grub uh, or a uh, the Mickey air crawl. I really, really like those uh, for spawning fish. Next, I got a 10 pack of the fourth ounce Bass Pro Shops Pro Tube Jig Head and uh, for throwing my watermelon tubes, green pumpkin tubes, all those kind of uh, cattle fruit baits is my favorite tube. It's because I like to support my local shops and local bait companies and they make some really good tubes. Packs of two Domagatsu trailing hooks. These hooks are extremely sharp right out of the package. Now, I've caught, I've been throwing one spinnerbait all day long and caught 10, 11, 12 fish on one thing. And every single one of them came on a trailer hook. Now, people say, oh, you don't need to worry about the trailer hooks. Throw a, uh, throw a trailer. Well, yeah, I throw a trailer and a trailer hook. You put your, go ahead and put your trailer on, or your trailer on, and then you put your trailer hook on. I get much better success with that trailer hook because for some of those 12, 13 inch fish that on Lake, uh, there's a lake here, here in uh, here in town. It's Lake Cove, uh, or Lake Harrington. It has, I mean, it's, it's the biggest bag that I've ever seen come out of Lake Harrington is like 11 pounds. I mean, we had six pounds. Uh, yeah, we had six pounds, and we got third place out of 100. And, no, no, uh, out of 90 boats. In that we were half out or half out away from going to nationals. Uh, <clears throat> with those smaller fish, they just get it a little better. So that then whenever they short strike it, you know, they're just dipping that tail of the trailer. Uh, my sister back in the fall caught a four pound largemouth on my home run uh, on the trailer, on the one on the trailer. Because <clears throat> all those fish that they were nipping, just nipping at it, the, the back of it, nipping at the skirt. So. <clears throat> So we said, uh, those trailer hooks, we said, well, I was throwing a trailer hook and she wasn't. And I was catching more fish, she was like, hey, I ain't going to trailer hooks. So she put that on there, and the next cash after she had that on there, she caught that four pound large now, and we were ecstatic. We ended up getting third place that day, and we were four ounces away from big fish. Uh, and it was just, that was just a good day. We had fun. Uh, we, I love just, I just love being in the outdoors. I like hunting, fishing, uh, right in that, um, uh, drag cars, anything that's going to get me outside, moving, uh, you know, doing something that I love. I love working on cars, which me and my pal will do together up at his, uh, his, uh, drag car shop, Roger Speed and, Cu Speed and Custom, uh, I'm on the Deer County High School bass fishing team, and uh, me and my sister are on there together. And hunting, we have a hunting lease, and I go up there and I hunt every year. I'm bow hunting, muzzleloader hunting, gun hunting, uh, crossbow hunting, turkey hunting, you know, anything I can do. Anything I can hunt, I'm going to hunt it. And I, I, and I always use the meat from it, like deer jerky. I love some good deer jerky. I have my own recipe. It's, it's spectacular. I have a big dehydrator. I have a big eight tray dehydrator. Uh, and I make that jerky and it's just good. And so I'm always using, you know, the ground beef and chili and uh, spaghetti and all that kind of stuff. And then the, some of the meat like the butterfly chops and all that and the rump roasts. Those are all really, really good for, uh, for jerky and just all around good. Turkey, we, last year I killed turkey in the fall, and uh, we ended up eating it for Christmas Day, because we always have a dinner on Christmas Day, and uh, we ended up eating, eating that turkey for them, recently. <laughs> and uh, so anything I can do to get in the outdoors, I love doing it, because it's my passion, it's my, I want to go up to a professional fisherman, and I, I, people say that, oh, you know, the way you're, the way you're going now, you could, you could reach there. 
it's not I could, it's I'm going to. Because I'm going to I'm going to strive and I'm going to drive myself as hard as I have to to be able to reach that next level. And so, oh, I, forgot, I almost forgot my rods. Uh, my first rod right here I have is a Veritas 2.0 Abel Garcia. Uh, it's a 30 ton graphite rod. It's a 7 foot medium heavy 44 to 1 ounce uh, uh, weight, uh, 12 to 20 pound line. This is going to be my worm, uh, 7 to 10 inch worms, uh, jigs, uh, some lighter jigs, like 3 8 half ounce jigs, uh, Texas rigs, uh, like, a, like a shaky head, Texas, Texas rig shaky head, or a Texas rig mess grub, or you know, a shaky head. <coughs> tip on it, and uh, it'll be good for just all around what I want to do with it. The next rod, which I'm really, really ecstatic about, is my Veritas 2.0, 7 foot 6, medium heavy, 3 8, the 1 and 1 4 pound uh, weight, and 12 to 25 pound line. It's a 30 ton graph white. It's a Veritas 2.0, I will see you. And it's, it has a medium moderate tip, and it's a real, real heavy backbone with, you know, a moderate, more tip. Uh, I'm going to throw jigs, big 12, 8 to 18 inch worms, <coughs> Kentucky Lake, big spoon, magnum spoons. Uh, I'm going to be all around good for, you know, where I like to fish. And also for my uh, 25 pound test, I will not put this on this rod. I have a heavy, a super heavy rod. It's an extra heavy 8 foot rod. Not 7-Eleven, but uh, plus one. But uh, it'll go on that. It has an OR 7 7-1-1. I'll probably put a uh, an OR 6 4 one on this. Oh, no, I'll put another 7-4. 7 one I'll put a 6-4 one on this one. Uh, but this will be a really good rod for whenever I'm flipping uh, lighter cover, maybe on the backside boat docks, uh, going down the bank, you know. Because a lot of time people will sink timber on the other side of a boat dock so they can fish there. Well, I'll get, I'll go down the bank and I'll come over and I'll fish the back of the boat dock. And I'll come around the front and I'll pick up my, my six foot uh, 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 extra fast tip rod. It has a, it's a medium heavy, it's a, people are like, oh, you need a big rod to skip. I like that little six foot six foot rod. I can skip whatever I, I can ship, skip a shaky head, a Texas rig, uh, a Senko, a, a swim jig, a jig, a football head jig. I can, I can skip anything with a rod. That 15 pound test on it, it gets it in there, gets it out. It's people are like, you need a 20 pound test, no you don't. I need a 15 pound test, and I've never broke off the fish. But uh, I put 20 pound test in Vizx on the Sea Garden Vizx. In the 711 reel, and then I'll be good to go for my this year's jigging. Uh, well, that's it for today on uh, on outdoor adventure here. Uh, I'll start posting some some videos of fishing when it gets closer to fishing season. We have term August 27th uh, on Lake Cumberland. We'll be throwing you know deep jig, big 10 inch worms. Uh, I hope I look forward to having some really good success on Lake Cumberland at that time. I'll put some drop shots, maybe put some swan out, some shaky, some half ounce shaky heads, uh, some football head jigs, on out on some uh, deep, deep flats. Uh, it should be a really good tournament. Uh, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a really good turnout. It's a DCA uh, uh, championship qualifier, uh, and we're hoping to have a good, really good uh, tournament that day. On September 19th, we go to Lake Cumberland to fish a national qualifier. We qualify for this through the SAF State, which I've mentioned earlier in the video. And uh, from where, what we learned last year, um, um, Lake Cumberland at that exact time, it was uh, over the weekend after that we fished the tournament down there and got third place with the with Morgan's Big Fish on spinnerbaits. Uh, we should be throwing spinnerbaits, uh, crankbaits. Uh, Chatterbaits, swim jigs, all that kind of stuff back up in a creek that we love. 
It's about a 20 minute run from the from Burnside Island, General Burnside Island, to where we're going to fish. So, in our track next, you know, you're there. We're running, you know, 68, 69 miles an hour with all of our rods, full tournament load, uh, full tank of gas, me and, my, me and my sister and my dad, boat captain. Uh, so, it, it'll, it'll be a good day that day. I'll videotape all that kind of stuff tournament and I'll post it on here and uh, so look forward to my new videos coming out. They should be coming out pretty soon. I think me and dad are going to try to go fishing over up to our hunting farm this weekend and uh, either put out some corn or trail cameras or go out to the Cumberland and go and try to catch some of those fish that are still up pretty deep, about 25 feet of water. And uh, so that's it for today. I hope you all enjoyed my Bass Pro Shops unboxing as I did, because I'm ecstatic to start using this stuff, and uh, I'm going to slow the miracle, and I'll catch you next time on Outdoor Adventures.